Now we've already installed the JBoss components, but I, I want to download the Hibernate library separate from the JBoss components. So let's do that. First things first, JBoss, that uh, annoying flash screen, um, you can get to it by just clicking this button. It'll bring it back up. But let's go to this little guy and click that and sign R. You won't see it on startup. It just takes up some resources and makes, makes data calls to the internet. And why bother? Okay. So the first things first, let's go out to Hibernate Org ORM Downloads. Okay. Now, I can download uh, different versions of this, but I want to download the stable, the most stable version, 4.3.10 uh, final. Let's stay, let's stay with that. And there we go. It's installing or downloading, excuse me. I'll pause for a second. I'll be back. Sorry, that took about forever. <laughs> so this is the files that we downloaded, the Hibernate files. I'm going to unzip those files. And once this is complete, I'll have a number of Hibernate files unzipped. Just take another second or two. In the meantime, while this is going, I'll go back over to uh, Eclipse, go to Windows Preferences, type in User, and I want to do I want to create user libraries under Java Build Path User Libraries. Click New. I'm going to call my 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 library file, my library name, Hibernate Lib, and click OK. That zip is almost done. I'm going to add external jars. Now what I want to do with this is point this to the jars uh, that are packaged in this zip file that's being um, extracted. Holy moly, <laughs> that's a lot of stuff in this file. It's only 60 megs. I'll pause this until this is complete. All right, I'm back. That took longer than I expected it to take, that's for sure. All right, so <clears throat> if I go back to Hibernate, go to Hibernate, go to Lib, go to Required, these are the jar files that I need to in create with my um, my user library. So I'm going to go to that library, select them all, click OK. Now I have a user library called Hibernate Lib, and I don't have to reference those uh, jar files one at a time for every different project that I want to create. I have my own library. Now, I didn't want to use, if you look closely, if you look at the installation um, of Eclipse, if you go to, uh, let's see, if I go to Eclipse, Eclipse, uh, Plugins, and I look around for Hibernate, let's see, there's Hibernate Console. If I look around for Hibernate Console, I look at Docs, not Docs, it's not under here, maybe it's under here. One of these guys will have the actual libraries, or some of the libraries for Hibernate. I just didn't, I just didn't want to commingle with this. So this is the, these files that we use for, uh, for Hibernate in, in this plugin are for um, this perspective to show up this hibernate perspective and frankly I don't I can't tell if the plugin has the same version that I want to use for projects so I just don't want two different kinds of files so I have a separate installation for the plugin and I have external files um, in my hibernate library that I downloaded this guy that I know that's pointing to that particular version of hibernate all right so hibernate's done um, the Java FX is done. The only thing we didn't install yet is Android, and that's coming up next. Thank you.